Hi, this is a demonstration of GPS handcuff project. So this is an uh, innovative system that is built uh, to track prisoners or people under house arrest. So this is uh, to check whether uh, they are in the boundary or premises they should be in or uh, if they have ex escaped. So in order to track this, we are use uh, a transmitter system and a receiver system. So as long as the transmitter and receiver are in range, the system, uh, you know, thinks that uh, the person or the criminal or whoever it is, is within the premises and has not escaped. And the system is, system is in normal mode. So once the person goes out of the range uh, of that particular uh, premises, so the transmitter and receiver will uh, not be in range of each other and the receiver detects that uh, as soon as it's not in range it uh, instructs the microcontroller and the microcontroller then uh, constantly transmits the GPS coordinates of that person so that uh, the authority can uh, check whether check uh, that a particular person has escaped and also track his location using the GPS coordinates sent by the receiver system so we assume that the receiver system uh, is to be tied on uh, the prisoner or the person under house arrest to his uh, foot or anywhere uh, so that uh, he cannot uh, remove it and uh, so let's see uh, how the system works for this uh, we'll be using an Atmega microcontroller that is AVR family microcontroller and uh, this microcontroller is interfaced to an LCD display for displaying the status of the system also it is interfaced to a GPS uh, receiver and uh, an RF receiver to get the the GPS receiver is to get the coordinates of the person if he escapes and the RF receiver is to check if uh, he is in range of the transmitter system or has escaped and also the system is connected to a GSM modem to transmit the latitude and longitude of the data of the escaped prisoner using uh, the GSM modem so let's see how the system works so the system has been turned on and saying connected to the GSM modem. So now as soon as the system starts we have to give a missed call on this particular number. The one we have inserted in the GSM modem so that our number from which we call gets registered as the number of the authority. So now the system is waiting for a call. Let's give a missed call on this particular number. So that our number gets registered into the system as a number of the authority. So our number has been registered and we also have got a message that this number has been configured in the system as an authority number. And the system is now within range of the transmitter system and hence uh, it is not sending the coordinates so in order to uh, demonstrate that the system has gone out of range uh, we have to uh, remove the power supply of the transmitter so even in a natural uh, case if the transmitter uh, and receiver if the receiver person uh, person wearing the receiver goes out of uh, the premises the range would be lost and so let's check what happens if the range is lost. So as you can see as we remove the transmitter the system is out of range and it has detected the prisoner as the person has escaped the premises and it's sounding a buzzer as well as uh, it will be sending SMS message about the latitude or longitude to the registered mobile number and as you can see we have received the message now so let's uh, start the power supply so that the system stops sending and as you can see it uh, sent us the that is longer and clicking on that link we can check uh, the person on a map where uh, the person is currently and it will keep transmitting uh, the location of that person in a particular time intervals. So this is how the system can efficiently track prisoner escaping and uh, 
can uh, easily allow the authorities to catch uh, escaping prisoners as well as house arrest persons. So this is how the project works. Thank you.